All right, Nick. So think that that right out of the back, there's just a little, a little over rotation from that left knee here. I think it, if that, how that left knee is dropping there, and I do think even here it could stay a little more dorsiflex, but the way that left knee is dropping right here, I want it's like see if you can keep it from rotating any further to the left. See here, it's sort of from this position to this position, and I think that's causing that right to float a little bit here. But I think if that right can get grounded just a bit sooner, and then you hold that left arm back, then open. So I still think that that left side's a little soft here. I wonder if you could hold a, a Harding non-reverse with a, with this one six. I even think here, like your right knee's doing a good job, right foot looks good. But you, you start to lose tension a bit right here, and it starts to slide a bit early. I, I, I can't really tell, though, if, if you're losing that support system or not. I don't know. Maybe you're not. Nah, I think you're holding that pretty well. I think it's mainly just that left side here is a little soft. Like, you're not... I think when you're about to finish, you've got to stay tighter in that hammy and quad and tighter in your glute, and then that left shoulder comes back around but the legs are really squeezing tight and sitting into that finish a bit more. I don't, I don't mind this throw. I just think, I just think there's a couple little tweaks that, um, no, like holding that left knee a little more there, right down sooner, sitting into that left side a little bit longer through the finish, and then sticking it. You're not far off. I mean, these look good for for the one six nons. And I think these are going to help you feel a little bit uh, snappier through that finish.